Hello and welcome again to our Bad Dog CNC tutorials. I'll be guiding you through this tutorial on this lovely Monday morning. Just so you know, you're watching our beginner series of CNC tutorials, and today I'm going to explain to the absolute beginner how to set the zero on the Bad Dog machine. Now, if you're more an advanced user, or you already know how to do this, you can skip to the more advanced tutorials in intermediate or advanced section. Now, today I'll be talking about how to set the zero on the Bad Dog machine. After fixing the piece to the machine table, this is the most important step of the milling process, because if we don't do this step correctly, the machine won't know how or where to go to find the piece. The first thing to be aware of is your chosen Cartesian axe system that you've imposed in Mach 3. I always like to keep a little block with a coordinate system written down so I never forget. Here you can see I have a standard X axis, but I've inversed the Y, so the negative is towards the bottom of the table. Now the first thing is to make sure that the block you're working with is secured to the table and it won't move. Here I'm using a black aluminum block so you can see better in the video. Now in order to set the zero of the machine, you must first turn on your bad dog and launch the Mach 3 software. If you have the bad dog remote, you can use it to simplify your life, but if not, just use the arrow keys on the keyboard in order to move the machine. Press the reset button and move the machine into position over top of the block. We're going to set the zero on Z first. We're going to change our speed, so we're going to lower it. I usually use about 3% of the top speed. You can use whatever makes you comfortable. Remember that you have to move very slowly and very precisely with the machine when you set the zero. Grab your feeler gauge. I usually use the thinnest one when I'm setting the zero of the machine. I'm going to move the machine down slowly over top of the block until I can feel the tool pinch the feeler gauge against the block top. Then I'm going to slowly pull out the feeler gauge and lower the machine a couple more steps to compensate for the space that the feeler gauge took. This means we're exactly in a position where the tool is touching the top of the block. Therefore, we can impose the value of Z in our Mach 3 interface. Now the way you do that is simple. Click the box, type the number, and then press enter to validate the command. Remember that because you're touching the top of the block with the tool, you need to impose the width of the block. Now that you're finished that, you can raise your speed again and we can move into position so we can set the zero on the X axis. In order to set the X axis, I usually move the tool down towards the table and position it halfway between the block bottom and block top. You can lower your speed again and slowly move towards the block. Quite like the Z axis, we're going to use our feeler gauge again. It's a good time to mention that you have to make sure that the tooth of the tool is touching the block, not the backside or the flute of the tool. If you calibrate the machine to the backside of the tool, you could break your tool or worse, screw up the piece that you intend to mill. Now we can approach slowly the block. As soon as we feel the feeler gauge get pressed in between the block and the tooth of the tool, we can stop the machine and impose our value. We're going to impose less the radius of the tool. That means if I have a tool of the diameter of 6 millimeters, then I click the box and I impose minus 3. Make sure at this time you don't get confused and put zero into the box. If you do this, you could also break your tool or cause damage to the machine itself. Now the Y axis is done the exact same way as the X. We speed up the machine, we move the tool close to the edge of the block, then we slow down the machine and slowly approach the edge of the block until it pushes against the feeler gauge with the tooth of the tool. Then we impose the radius of the tool, press return, and we're done. Remember that the numbers that we're imposing de depends directly on the Cartesian axes that I defined originally in the Mach 3 software. Now that's about it. We set the zero on the machine, the three axes, now you're ready to cut. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, but most importantly, I hope it was interesting and entertaining. So, all of us from Bad Dog CNC, we're wishing you a good day. Thanks for watching.